Hello everyone, welcome to Eagle Eye Opener Global Outreach. I am Hosanna Devi. There is a message that someone forwarded to me and I was really touched. And when I was doing a video, I mentioned a feed. So someone said I should please post this video. So I want to share the same video with you my viewers and i encourage you to also forward this video to people because the message it carries is powerful this is a little girl of just 12 years old she said god appeared to her in form of an old man that has no hair the message is powerful just watch it good morning beloved children of god my name is miracle i am 12 years old i have a relation being 13th January 2020 and this morning. Yes. God appeared to me in the dream. He told me I should go and tell these people that he's coming very soon. He appeared like he appeared in the image of an old man who does not have hair. He said I should go and tell these people that he's coming very soon. In that dream, the hunger of God is too much. He's great, sir. He's mighty. You need to see, my brothers and sisters, God hunger is very big, very greater, that nobody can withstand it. So please change. In that dream, I w uh, in that dream, I woke up. I had not seen. I didn't see my siblings that was sleeping with me in the room. I didn't see. I said, "Oh, it's a supernatural that taking place." I didn't know what to do. I was. I was ever scattered. I didn't even know what to do again. I said, God, please have mercy upon me. Have mercy. The world was shaking. A few people was going to heaven. While the crowd of people was going to hell. Please, please change. Change from any bad, from any evil character, from any envy. If you know you are keeping malice on anybody, please go and please go and risk concerned with the person god only gave me only three days in this dream god only gave me only three days to reveal to to tell his people this thing to, to tell his people this thing that if i do not tell the people this thing that my life the judgment will be upon my head please please change any pastors that have not changed please change you need to seek the kingdom of god the kingdom of god the kingdom of God is at hand. God sent me to tell pastors around the around the church everywhere to seek his face that the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God I saw in the dream. God folded this earth into two. He divided this the, the 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 earth into two. He he folded it and and, and cast the fire upon the earth. So please everyone my brothers and sisters the one who's know me the one please please help me help me to to to, to deliver this message around the world that anyone that is related to you please deliver this message as soon as possible because it's only just three days just three days that god told me to deliver this message that if i did not that my life will be miserable. Please, I should deliver this message to anyone who is related to you. God oh, bless you. Jesus. Name. Please, I encourage you to share this message with people just as she is pleading. I know that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. It's just a matter of Him appearing and then taking us people home. When the church is taken home, it shall be very, very terrible. And the plagues, different kind of things that have been prophesied in Revelation are going to definitely take place. The Lord is not a liar and we shouldn't see him as a liar. I know that many people today don't talk about the rapture, they don't talk about the judgment of God, all they concern themselves with is just the good things of this life, miracles, uh, prosperity, and uh, the feel-good message, sugar-coated messages, because that is what majority of Christians, modern Christians, want to hear. Why? Because they have itching ears. They have been programmed by the devil and by the society to listen and to listen to and also obey, believe lies. 
Many people have been deceived. Many men of God have been deceived. So even if God gives them this kind of message, they don't want to pass it out because they feel they don't need to uh, tell these people anything that will uh, shake their mind or anything that will make them to become worried. They believe it is not their ministry. But if Jesus Christ says that we should make disciples of all nations and teach them everything that he has commanded us to do, then we must preach the whole gospel. We must not preach the gospel of prosperity of the body alone, of uh, earthly things alone, but even as our soul prospered, we should preach the prosperity of the soul first, which is eternal salvation, and then also tell people how to live good on earth. Uh, Psalm 8 verse 2 says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. The Lord is speaking through children. Because many of us who are pastors have failed him. Many of us have failed him. There is a message that the Lord gave to me uh, about two years ago. It is about false prophets and false pastors. About three years ago, I think. And I'm going to leave the link in the description box. It is very, it is an eye-opening message. And you will see the pain in the heart of God and how we, many of us who are pastors, have failed to carry out our duties. I know there are faithful Christians, there are faithful <coughs> men of God in the world today, but they are very, very few, just as Jesus Christ said, that many are called, but few are choosing. Please share this message and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Visit our website, eagleeyeopen.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.